Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a tutorial on how to clean up your Start menu, and this applies to Windows Mobile 6.5 and 6.1 and 6.0 devices, touchscreen or non-touchscreen, it'll all work the same. Now, in 6.5 in particular, we have the ability to move icons around, although we can only move them to the top. So if we have something on the bottom here, say we want upper browser at the top, we tap and hold and go to move to top. But let's say we want to delete an icon. There's some AT&T stuff on here that I don't necessarily want to use, such as AT&T Music. This is how you remove it. You want to go into File Explorer. And what, depending on the device that you use, it may be here in the main directory, or it may be under um, Tools, like it is on this device, and go into File Explorer. And now you want to navigate to the Windows directory. So the way that you can get to there is by going to the main directory, My Device, and drilling into Windows. And after that loads, you want to scroll down a little bit and go to Start Menu, and then go to Programs. And this is going to show you all of the things that are listed in your Start Menu. There's the one I want to delete, AT&T Music. To delete it, simply tap and hold, and press Delete. And it says it's a system file, so be sure you don't want to ever use this again. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. And so if we go back into the Start Menu, AT&T Music is gone. It's cleaned up a little bit more. You can also make subfolders, let's say for um, multimedia, so that you don't have all these applications all over your start menu. You can try to make it as short as possible so you don't have to scroll as much if you're trying to find something. So let's make a new folder. Um, you can already see there are some folders made, like apps and productivity. Let's do multimedia. So I'm back in that programs directory, and I'm going to do menu, new folder, and I'm just going to call it uh, multimedia. Okay, and I'm going to deselect it. And let's find some things that I want to put in there. For example, album. So I'm going to take this and tap and hold, and I'm going to do cut. And I'm going to scroll down to multimedia, go inside of it, and, and do a paste. Tap and hold and paste. Okay, good. And let's confirm that we did exactly what we thought we were going to. So we're in the start menu and scroll down. There's multimedia, and there's album, just like we want it. And of course, we can go right into that. Okay, and let's move another program into multimedia. Um, here we are. Let's take uh, let's take camera and put it into multimedia. So tap and hold once again. Do cut and go down to where'd it go? It's uh, now up here. And do a tap and hold and do paste. Of course, if you're connected via ActiveSync, you can also do this from your computer. If you go to My Computer, um, you can drill into the folder structure of your device, just like we're doing here, although it may be easier to organize lots of things on a desktop or a laptop, whatever you're using, to connect your device to. So that was a quick tutorial on how to customize the start menu of your Windows mobile device. It's quite helpful to be able to kind of consolidate some of these icons so that you don't have a massively long list. By default, when you download a new program, it's added to this main directory, and it can fill up pretty quickly. For more Windows mobile tips and tricks, be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.